Hello everyone, it's Andrea. I'm playing with a couple of new summer makeup products and I love this look. So I hope you enjoy it and keep watching if you want to see what it did. My skin is prepped, well almost. I'm just doing a little bit of my Ulla Henriksen eye cream. This is such a wonderful product to use under makeup. I feel like it makes my concealer sit a lot better under the eyes. So now for skin. I thought we would try a new foundation together, and it's the Giorgio Armani Face Fabric. I have this in the shade 2. I did try this foundation before when they had it, like, it was out a long time ago. I think I maybe tried it in, like, 2012, and then it went away, and then it came back. To me, the texture feels very, very similar. They did fiddle with the color range a little bit. I think that they improved the color range. The premise of this foundation is second skin. It's very sheer. It's almost like a tinted silicone primer. That's the type of texture that it has. It's a nice foundation if you just want a really natural look. So I'm going to apply a little bit on the tops of my fingers and they recommend using the foundation with fingers. So that's what I'm going to do. I'd say this has a light coverage. It has less coverage than the cushion foundation that I have from Armani. It has less coverage than Luminous Silk or Power Fabric. This is definitely a product for like lighter foundation days, but the one thing it does really well is kind of blur out those imperfections. And I think it's due to the fact that it has a lot of silicones in it, which will kind of give you that blurring effect. So this is a product that I like to use on like a good skin day. So I just smooth it all over, kind of create a nice perfect canvas and then I just go in with a little bit of concealer on the areas where I need a little bit more coverage. I love the way it looks when it's freshly applied on the skin. I find the smoothing effect really, really nice. This is not a glowy foundation at all. When you first put it on, it almost has um, a bit of a mattifying effect, but Throughout the day, especially if you're more combination oily, throughout the day as your natural oils kind of come out, the foundation just um, gets a little bit more glow to it, which I like. It's a nice lightweight product for summer. Now for the eyes, I'm going to use my Sicily corrector, just a little bit of it on the inner corner. going to use a little bit of the Revlon Youth Effects Concealer. A little bit down the center of my face to brighten a little bit. I think it's, it's hard to justify spending the Armani price tag on a very, very low coverage foundation, but it does beautifully even up the skin tone and kind of blur out imperfections. I have no problems with it pilling or anything like that, but keep in mind that I, I'm actually not using any skincare with silicones in it at, at the moment. I think that if you have a lot of serums or a moisturizer that has a lot of silicones in it, and then you go in with a foundation that's very high in silicones, you might have some issues with pilling. So just keep that in mind. You might want to let your skincare sit for a few minutes before you go in with foundation. And also you want to make sure that your skin is really nice and moisturized because this will tend to cling to dry patches if you have any. So on my couple of blemishes that I have, I'm going to use this Laura Mercier, my usual Laura Mercier Seco Camouflage Concealer. I think I'm going to take a finger. I've been watching a lot of Katie Jane Hughes. On Instagram I love her Instagram lives I've talked about her before but I just love how she does makeup I think that her skin always looks so beautiful it never looks overdone it's just so nice mind you she does have pretty perfect skin but she never uses powder she always lets the shine through and it, I really like that I think it makes me feel a little bit self less self-conscious about my oils because 
I feel like I've been trying to cover up my oily skin my entire life. I've been just powdering the hell out of everything and I've just been putting everything, I just want to mattify everything all the time. Um, so this, this over the last year or so, it's kind of been a revelation. Like, just lay low on the powder, embrace the shine, embrace the pores. We're all human, we all have pores, we all, like, it's just, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why, what I'm ranting about, to be honest. Just, let's just be less harsh on ourselves, maybe. Maybe that's what I'm trying to get at. And if you're an oily girl like me, hey, we save money on hydrating primers because we don't really need to use them. I think the base is pretty much done. I'm going to use a tiny little bit of my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder just under the eyes. Very, very, very lightly on a Wayne Goss airbrush. Whatever's left on the brush, which is not a lot, I'm going to gently dust it on the T-zone. And on the couple of areas where I have, um, where I concealed a little bit more heavily, I'm going to use just a touch of this pure, um, this is a mineral powder. And it has SPF in it as well, which is nice. Always like to use a little bit of extra SPF, especially on areas where I have healing acne so that I don't get any crazy hyperpigmentation but always use SPF every day as part of your skincare routine, especially in the summertime, especially if you're using like acids or retinols or anything like that because those tend to make your skin extra sensitive to the sun. So I actually really, really like this powder. It's really nice, not too powdery, not too matte. It's the 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup, Broad Spectrum, SPF 15. I use the shade Golden Medium. For eyebrows, I'm using the Burberry Full Brows. I'm going to use um, this thing here, which is a thing of beauty. It's the Marc Jacobs Limited Edition eyeshadow palette for this summer. I think that this summer's Marc Jacobs makeup collection has been the best summer collection that I've seen out of any makeup brand. I love the way it looks. I love the things that they came out with. I like that it wasn't too overwhelming. Um, not too many products. I think they had the loose powder highlighter, the coconut primer, which is permanent, and then the bronzer, which I think they also made permanent. Uh, I'm not sure, but this is beautiful. I've had my eye on a, on a Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette for a while, ever since they reformulated them, I think last year, and this is just summer in a palette. It is so beautiful. I mean, I'm sure you've seen it all over the internet, but I think it's so, so beautiful. And while I love the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette from last year, and I still use that a lot, I think that if I had to do it all over again and choose between the Urban Decay Naked Heat and this one, I would choose this one. I find that the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette has a few of, a few shades that I could do without. Um, the, some of the shades are too similar to each other. I don't think it's as cohesive as this. Whereas this, you kind of have everything you need in it. And for me, the star of the show is actually this color here, which is a shimmery rose. I did not think I would enjoy pink eyeshadow as much as I do with this palette. So I'm going to use this palette. I will start with um, this light color all over the lid. And I'm using a brush that's actually already dirty with colors from this palette, so nothing too precise here. I am not a makeup artist. I just like easy, beautiful makeup. Then for my crease, I'm mixing in these two colors here. The matte colors in this palette blend out so nicely, so easy. I think this palette sold out on Sephora, but I saw it on Bergdorf Goodman. If you're based in the US and you're interested in buying it, you can get it from there. I like to order from Bergdorf sometimes because they have really nice fancy samples of stuff and it's a great way to try some exorbitantly priced brands that I've never heard of. So after we have the crease color down, I'm going to go in with um, this color here, which is my favorite color in the palette, this beautiful shimmery pink shade.
and I'm going to add a little bit of this pale coral shade on the same brush, just the other side of it. And I'm going to work it in with the rose shade just on the outer corner. And whatever I have left on the brush, I'm using it on the lower lash line. I'm going to take just a tiny little bit of this really dark brown color. This is so pigmented. It's almost like... It's almost too pigmented, so be careful. Don't get too much of this on your brush. Well, my camera died. <laughs> I'm back. Um, in the meantime, I just put some... Uh, dry texturizing spray through my hair and I applied mascara. I use Glossy Lash Slick which is quickly becoming my favorite mascara. So let's finish off the face because I'm feeling really naked without um, without some color. So I'm using my good old Clarence bronzer with the Zoeva 101 powder brush and I am focusing on the lighter parts of the bronzer I don't have much self tan on my face, so I don't want to go too crazy on the bronzer. Oh, I also used a little bit of this eyeliner in my waterline. This was limited edition from Clarence. I think it's from two years ago. I don't know if they still have this color, but it's their waterproof eye pencil in the shade Copper. So I feel like this kind of complements the colors of, of the palette perfectly. This is Charlotte Tilbury First Love. And I was actually chatting with one of you over Instagram, over Instagram DMs. And you were talking about how much you've been loving this blush. So I'm going to use it today. These are the Fantasy Dewdrops from Marc Jacobs. And this is the best liquid cream highlighter for somebody with oily skin because this sets. It doesn't stay tacky on the skin, so it won't make you feel greasy or cloying, but you will get that beautiful sheen. And I like to use this with a beauty blender. I'm just taking a very small amount, like half a pump and kind of working it on the back of my hand first and then dabbing it on the tops of the cheeks. I want to do a peachy lip so this is my favorite peachy lipstick. It's Tom Ford First Time. You can leave the lip matte like this, or you can add a touch of gloss. Just at the center of the lips to give it a little bit more life. This is the finished look. I'm really happy with it. A rosy, peachy look, perfect for summer. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.